The console save transfer process is now available. So for those of you that have access to a PC and want to transfer over your Elite Dangerous save, you can now do so. Also, the Thargoids are continuing to disrupt human inhabited space after the events of the Proteus wave. And additionally, exploration within the community continues to live on the Galactic Exploration Catalog. It's a great resource that has been designed to fill the void left by the Galactic Mapping Project. This resource for all explorers then will give you a good idea and a good resource to find locations to go out and explore and go out and discover. A great place for sightseeing. Likewise, if you've made many discoveries yourself, places that you'd like to share and other people to go and visit, you can use this resource to input the details for other people to go and find for themselves. Since its launch a few months ago, a number of fantastic and amazing discoveries have been made. This includes the rediscovery of the first green gas giant ever found, a treasure once thought long lost. If it's somewhere you'd like to visit, all the details are on the screen right here. But don't stop there. Do check out the resources linked in the video description. There's a whole load of other locations that you may well want to visit. And if you have some other locations yourself that you'd like to share, also take a visit. And why not keep this great resource up to date? Elite is now in the aftermath. This is the events after the Azimuth Saga. And it seems that the Thargoids are moving out of the HIP-22460 star system into other inhabited star systems. This has begun with them moving into the three different star systems. You can see them listed on the screen right here. Galnet has some updates on what exactly is going on here, at least updating some of the lore for those of you who are interested in that side of things. The short of it though is more conflict zones, more AX conflict zones. So yeah, get your weapons on and go and have a look. I went there and took a look myself after I transferred my PlayStation 4 save over to the uh, PC. I got there in Horizons and it seems no Thargoids have turned up. So I'm not sure if that's a Horizons issue or just a bug. You can see the Thargoid or Frameshift anomaly happening at three different times here. Uh, nothing happening in the AX conflict zone. Just wanted to see what type of Thargoids were here. I turn up again perhaps in my other account with an Odyssey account. But meanwhile... Do let me know in the comments section what type of Thargoids have we got here. Are these the aggressive ones, the new type, that are resistant to Guardian weaponry? They deactivate all Guardian modules on your ships. Or are these the more traditional previous variants of Thargoids? I'd love to know. Meanwhile, it's likely things will heat up when the Thargoid anomalies arrive closer to space. I think there's three of them at this point, and no doubt more to be discovered at some point in the not too distant future. At any rate, talking of console save transfers, the console save transfer process then is very easy. You can do it through the links in the video description and I'll walk through the process very briefly on the screen right here. The whole process, the portal was launched today just a few hours ago from the time this video goes live actually. Already quite a few people have used it based on the feedback on the forums at least and after using it myself, I can tell you the process is very smooth indeed, extremely easy to use. Now, I'm fully aware that this process isn't going to be suitable for absolutely everyone. After all, not everyone has access to a gaming PC. Not everyone wants such a thing. So that does still leave quite a significant portion of the player base in the lurch. That said, if you're on the Xbox, you do have the option of using GeForce Now, which will give you access to a PC version of Elite that you can play on Xbox via cloud streaming. Although, of course, this will not be a suitable option for absolutely everyone, but it may be an option for some people out there. At any rate, on to the transfer process itself. As I said, you can access it through the transfer portal. The first thing you're going to want to do then is choose which version of Elite you want to transfer over. Are you playing on PlayStation or are you playing on Xbox? In my case, I want to transfer over my PlayStation 4 save. So, after logging into the Frontier portal via your console profile, you'll be asked to give Frontier various permissions here, very basic ones, but yeah, you will need to check through these. I'm going to approve that. On the next screen, it will detail everything that your console save contains. So in my case, it shows me my current ship, my current location, as well as my current credit balance, number of ships, and the number of systems that I've visited. Also, the big red message here is very important. Arcs balance, fleet carriers, and squadron data will not be copied. Please spend any remaining arcs balance before you initiate your transfer. Likewise, when it comes to fleet carriers, you'll need to make sure you decommission them and wait for that timer to count down so that the decommission is complete. 
That way you can ensure that all the credits that you spent on your carrier are refunded before you initiate the transfer process. So if you're ready, go ahead and click confirm. The next step, very easy, you log into an existing Frontier account. Keep in mind that if you've already got Elite Dangerous on there, I'm not quite sure what happens. It may overwrite your existing save on PC, so don't go and do that. Alternatively, just log in and create a brand new account. If you do this, Frontier will give you a free copy of Elite Dangerous over on the PC. So this really does seem like the best way to go. Once done and logged into the new Frontier account, the game of the system rather will ask you for a new commander name. That is, if your existing commander name is already taken on PC. If not, it will go to the next step after this. So uh, yeah, simply uh, request the new name. Finally, you end up back at the summary screen again. It's a final confirmation and this is the final, final confirmation. Do you want to proceed? Are you absolutely sure? This is a one-time only process. Your original profile will remain playable on console. So yep, you'll keep your console save as well as having the same details, the same data over on PC. You'll then end up in a queue. This queue took around about half hour to complete for me. For some people, it might be shorter. For some people, a little bit longer. It likely depends on just how many people are interacting with it at any one time. I've also heard there has been some database issues, I think due to the sheer volume of people interacting with this portal, but hopefully that will get fixed over time. At any rate, that brings us to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.